welcome back to my channel guys today I'm gonna to talk about saving a little bit of money and how I'm gonna do it maybe you can do it so first off it's best to buy in bulk in food it's all it's 99% of the time it's cheaper so with that in mind I am going to do it on this Pork chops. The point of buying in bulk is usually to save a little bit of money. You know, this is a dollar eighty-eight a pound, and if I bought smaller packs, then it would be a dollar to two dollars more a pound. So, with that in mind, we're going to take them out and separate them into what we need for a day's worth of food. And then I'm going to show you, you know, air is the worst thing for a freezer burn. That's why having a vacuum seal bag would be the best. But I don't have one of those vacuum sealers. So I'm going to show you how to do it poor man style. So we're going to do a little small pack here. Oh, holy crap, they are that big. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought they were thinner than this. Anyways, that's not the main concern. Though. The main concern is oxygen. Okay. Just to cut those in half. We were not prepared. <laughs> I was not prepared for them to be that thick. Should we cut them in half now? What do you want me to do? What do you think? I mean, I'm scared to cook something that thick like that. I think so. It would be easier to cut them frozen though. Those a little bit frozen did help cutting those because you have to think of them like smushing. Okay. So by saving, the easiest way to save money is buying in bulk. You usually get cheaper per pound. And I don't have a vacuum sealer bag. <laughs> so I bought these little freezer bags. I'm going to separate them into meals. So we're just going to put a few in this one. Put it four into this one. Now, this is the part you guys see. Let me wash my hands. If you know, you know, they say air is the worst thing. Look at this right here. See all that air? That would make it where it wouldn't last as long and you get a better chance of getting freezer burn on it. So, this is my homemade vacuum sealer right here. You get a straw, you just you close the bag up, you stick it in there. High tech stuff right here. And you just There it is. Look at look at how tight fit that is around there. That's a homemade. It works your lungs too though. <sighs> homemade vacuum seal bag right here. Sealed up pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Sealed up pretty good. I'm out of breath now. So as you can see. I have done these with the straw technique. One giant pack ended up making one, two, three, 
four big meals of pork chops. And then this other pack that I want to try. We got one, two, three, four packs of those pork chops. And as you can see, they're pretty vacuum sealed. I mean, they're pretty good. I mean, look at look at how tight that is. I mean, it's already it's flat. Just a little. Just a little tip from me to you, you know, if you want to try, try to save a little bit of money, then go for it.